Hello, what's up, Flight Simers? If you have recently created flight plans on Simbrief, or you have some YouTube channels about flight planning or flight simulators on your subscription list, you might have already figured out that Simbrief has improved its UI significantly, and now Simbrief looks like a new and modern website in 2023. It might be interesting for you that exactly last week I was discussing with some of my colleagues that regularly do some training or online flights. Uh, we were all agree that Simbrief UI and Simbrief web website is old, it's unusable in these days. And if they don't decide to upgrade it, they might die out and some other companies might do, do this and become the fair, bet, better flight planning tool. And less than a week from that discussion, now I see that Simbrief has upgraded the UI UX significantly and now it's a great tool and it really looks like modern websites today. I haven't yet used this flight planning system. It's my first time. I have just some, I have seen some videos last night on YouTube. And in this video, I'm going to walk you through uh, for creating a new flight plan, export it to Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 and program it automatically to our FMS of, for example, PMDG. Uh, and this is going to be my first impression. I haven't done it before. I'm going to try to cover all the beginner stuff as well. So if you haven't created a flight plan on Simbrief or it's your first time, so you can follow this video as well. Let's go ahead and continue and head to the Simbrief website. In order to use Simbrief for flight planning, you don't need a paid subscription. You don't need a, Navigra a Navigraph subscription. But if you want to connect your flight plan exported to Navigraph and have some moving maps and these kind of a stuffs on your flight bag, electronic flight bags, you might need have uh, you might need to have the paid subscription for Navigraph as well. But for the basic stuffs that we're gonna cover in this video, you don't need anything. So go ahead and create a free account on Simbrief. It's gonna uh, redirect it, redirect you to Navigraph to create an account in Navigraph. After you log in, go ahead to the dispatch section and dispatch system. This is the new UI. Compare it with the old UI that we had before. It's, uh, it has changed significantly. When you open it for the first time, you will see something like this. But the first step that I always advise to everyone is before do anything inside any application or any website, just check if it supports dark theme or not. I prefer dark mode because be honest, compare these two views. Dark mode is better for your eyes, better for your LCD screen, and it's much more cool. Look at the view, it's much more better. It's very cool. Let's go ahead and explore this dashboard as well. The dashboard is very greatly designed. The UX is great. Everything that you need is brought to you on the first glance. So you don't need to search for whatever you like or you want to find. You have your last latest flight plan. For example, this one is for me Los Angeles to Las Vegas. You have the statistics from your uh, latest, uh, your last online, online trainings or online flights that you have created or just some flight plans that you have created. Aircraft type, for example, I have flown Boeing 737-800 mostly. You can have detailed statistics of your flight easily here. And you have the subscription status here. For example, I have a Navigraph Ultimate Unlimited version here, but it is not necessary for this. And you can have your recent flight plans and any other things that you need. You can go ahead and change the last flight plan and regenerate the new flight plan again as well here. Let's go ahead and create a new flight. The, the items are almost the same. The items that you need to fill are almost the same. They are arranged a little better. They, improve, they have improved the arrangement and UX and user experience. But the map environment, the map overlay is great in this version. Let's go ahead and fill our flight plan and then we'll see what, what is the magic of this map here. Let's select maybe American Airlines uh, 5650 and depart from, let's depart from maybe LAX to, let's select something a little further, maybe Phoenix. And you can specify the alternate or just put it on auto here. The depart time automatically is selected for now, or you can select it, for example, for tomorrow, this time or whatever you like. Aircraft type, let's select Boeing 737-900. In the new UI, you have another option here, which is the variant. You can select the variant, for example, the first class, the economy, the freight, the cargo, or any uh, variant that your aircraft type has. If you are a uh, real airline pilot or a real dispatcher, you know all the details here. For example, the climb profile, cost index, and everything. You can go ahead and detail it specifically 
just like your real flights here or just put it on uh, auto and it will automatically do something for you let's have the cost index on 10 uh, and let's uh, put climb on decent the same the ATC call sign is automatically created because uh, based on our airline and flight number let's leave the registration fin number and all of them and default these are some uh, ARAC and navigation database configuration uh, most of the time we usually use the latest ARAC which is 2301 right now <clears throat> but it's valid up until 23 February but maybe you want to check for example a specific route on an older ARAC cycle you can select the older cycle uh, just for check it's not uh, recommended if you're gonna fly online you better have the latest ARAC all the times the units uh, the operating flight plan format you can go ahead and select it I mostly use the Lido format but you, but you can go ahead and use for example American Airlines here um, <clears throat> the optional entries which are a scheduled flight time departure runway all of them will be automatically filled for you based on the real data right now for example the wind uh, right now at LAX and <clears throat> Phoenix they will automatically pre-file for you, you can change it here altitude for example it will automatically create based on the available uh, or historical airline routes that it has in its database but you can go ahead and for example type 3 maybe flight level we are eastbound so 350 or you can uh, when you put the altitudes uh, specifically here the step climb uh, feature will automatically disable it but let's have it on auto it's much more better here the route uh, analyzer and route design almost the same as before nothing specifically changed here for example you can select different routes and will automatically show you the route here and uh, let's have a long route just for demonstration <clears throat> another new feature in this new ui that i i have recently figured out is find seed and start there's a new button here you can click on find seed and start and it will automatically based on the runway that you have selected here i'm not sure why it's not working the departure is selected oh I don't know why it didn't work at the first time based on the runway that you have selected it will automatically select the seat uh, recommended seat and a star for you and you can select uh, for example header one and lax one here for your departure and arrival uh, another uh, other options are the same just like before nothing special has changed here uh, maybe historical weather is something that I like I, I don't know if it was available in the older version as well I think it was available but because of a better design here I have found a historical weather just today I didn't know it exists in the older version of some brief what uh, historical weather for you is that instead of real-time weather you can create a custom weather like custom weather for maybe for training or you can put one ahead one step ahead and for example say okay on the 14 of February I did a real flight from LAH to Phoenix and I want to experience the exact weather of that time in that case you need to have the active sky XP and uh, in active sky XP you can either create a his custom weather or you can use a historical weather in active sky XP you go to weather control switch to historical weather and for example 14 of February on uh, 5.30 UTC and then it uh, just go ahead and save the weather file go ahead and click on save the weather files and inside the sim brief change it to enable use the uploaded snapshots and upload the file that you have then sim brief will do all the calculation for the route analysis for the runway selection for the cost index cruise altitude everything for you based on the weather, weather that you have imported to the sim brief that's it. Uh, another nice feature in, inside this map is that you have only one map for all the features. In the older version, you have plenty of maps hit the, on the bottom of the flight plan, but here you have only one that can overlay everything you like. For example, let's go ahead and overlay the significant weather charts. Look at this. This is very great. This is absolutely great. Uh, if you're a pilot, you know that the significant weather charts are reported on some on classic methods it will be reported and exported on some regions for example the middle east i don't know the europe some sections of the europe and they will be printed for you when you go to the dispatch here you have a live continuous map that you can go ahead and zoom and see exactly what is happening around the world for example look at this jet stream the cb the turbulence marks 
For example, there is a uh, jet stream here. I'm flight level 340 over Iran. It is, if I am not mistaken, it is 135 knots of speed to the northeast from southwest. Or there is some isolated embedded CV here. Very great feature. You can go ahead and overlay the precipitations. There are some precipitation on Europe and east side of US. You can have the airports. You can have the navets, waypoints, whatever, whatever overlays that you like here. Look at this. It's getting crazy. You can have the FIR regions here and the FIR boundaries. It's very cool new map feature. Okay, enough with playing. Go ahead and play with this map, overlay some details, and we will, it will be interesting for you. When you have done your settings and inputs, go ahead and click on Generate Flight, and it will automatically cre create a Generate Flight for you. And the flight plan is ready. You again have the map, the route, the, the alternate routes. You have the operating flight plan here. Briefing preview. This is the real operating flight plan that airline used based on the Lido format. And some more regularly used items are decoded here for you on the top sections. For example, estimated zero fuel weight, empty weight, passenger count, cargo, en route burn, and anything that you need, route distance, average width, and so on. And if you want more details, go ahead and explore it on your real operating flight plan. Some other nice features here is that now you have the ATC flight plan here. This is the ATC flight plan that is going to send to the ATC when they are giving you your IFR clearance. It says, for example, it's American Airline 5650, it's Boeing 737-9. Each one of these letters uh, just means a specific equipment or configuration that you have. For example, the W means that your aircraft is RVSM approved and so on. You can go ahead and explore it and do some learning if you're a student pilot these are the best learning tools for you uh, these are uh, all of them are the same we also have these features in the last version as well you have the details airport i don't know if they have these items in the last version i haven't noticed that maybe they were available but not this much organized so you, you can see all of them well organized here the departure airport you can go ahead and select on departure airport you have the runway elevation the vfr ifr conditions right now the METAR, the current METAR, tafs atis and every other thing that you might need when you fly from lax or to lax the no times the frequencies runway information everything you might need is available here the same for the arrival airport phoenix and alternate airport uh, when you have done with the configuration, if you want to fly online, you can just with one click file your flight plan on VATSIM. For example, click on pre-file and it will automatically file your flight plan on VATSIM. And you everything is pre-flight plan, pre-planned for you and all you have to do is to click on file flight plan and then you are good to go. If you have a paid subscription of the Navigraph, right now that your flight plan is automatically created for you here. All you have to do is go to import flight import from SimBrief and here it is the Los Angeles to Phoenix go ahead and click on download uh, here is the route that we have selected you have the charts here for Los Angeles airport diagram Los Angeles departure the seat we're gonna follow LAX1 the Phoenix and all the details you might need is automatically created on your uh, automatically imported to your Navigraph as well and if you open your iPad and uh, electronic flight pad is already field on your flight uh, electronic flight bag as well but this application is a paid so you need to have a subscription for using the navigraph charts another nice feature that i found in this new version i'm not sure if it was available or not in the last version it's very interesting for me and i haven't used it before is the flight plan uh, flight plan downloader or sim brief downloader in the classic old way you, sh you can go ahead and download your flight plan for each specific application that you like for example you can go down download the pmdg flight plan which is here and if you want to use it you should copy there are some description here you should copy this folder to the flight plan folder of the pmdg it's a long uh, root and directory inside your computer you should find that folder download this file and copy and paste it to that folder but what simbrief downloader do is that it 
does it automatically for you without any effort. You can download the SimBrief downloader. It's all available on your dashboard. Software downloads. And you can download it for Windows or any other application uh, or Mac OS. When you generate a flight plan, you have access to that on your SimBrief downloader. This is the SimBrief downloader. You can go ahead and refresh to have the latest flight plan. And the latest one is American Airlines 5650, Boeing 737-900, Los Angeles to Phoenix. This is the flight plan that we have created right now. It automatically detects which softwares that I have right now on my computer. It says you have explained 11 and 12. You have PMDG 737 aircraft, field uh, there, or some of them, some of others as well. Uh, it automatically detected that I have 737-900-800 and-600. Uh, this is the root directory that you should copy the flight plan manually if you don't want to download it manually. But with SimBrief Downloader, all you have to do is go ahead and click on this item and then you're good to go. I'm going to click on this and it says it's already available. Do you want to overwrite it? Yes, I'm going to overwrite it. And it will automatically export it our flight plan to the PMDG database. Right now, when I open my Microsoft Flight Simulator and sit on my PMDG 737, my route is automatically available on my company route inside my FMS. I'm going to pause the video and very quickly open my uh, flight simulator and show you how it works in action. Okay, here we are in Los Angeles Airport. I accidentally put my aircraft on the runway. No problem. Here is the Navigraph and let's see if uh, we have access to our FMS route as well. Let's go ahead to our FMS. Go to RTE. You don't need to fill the origin and destination anymore. Just go ahead and put your root company name here. It was Los Angeles to Phoenix. The file name that you have just downloaded from here. This is the file name that it's created for you. And it should work when you put it on your company. That's work, yes, it's great. And which runway we have selected? Runway 2 for left. And it's working now. You can see just we need to activate exec and we have all the routes here except for the departure and arrival. And change the range here. This is the route to the Phoenix. All you have to do is add your departure and arrival based on your IFR clearance. Go to departure, for example, at LAX and the LAX one, runway 24 left. Any transition, I don't know uh, which transition we're gonna use. You can select from here the TRM. For example, let's have the mission bay and exit. Now you come to the legs. You see the each leg is created for you, and you are ready to fly. The same procedure for the arrival. Go to the Phoenix. Select, for example, the Either one, runway, any runway that you've been assigned. Here it is, runway 08. Either one, runway 08. Now you are ready to fly. Okay, that's it. I hope it will be helpful for you. In this video, we covered the you creating a new flight plan, building the new SimBrief UI UX. Then we use the SimBrief downloader to export our flight plan and put it automatically on our FMS on our PMDG. I hope it will be helpful for you if you haven't experienced uh, or you haven't experienced the uh, online flight planning or you afraid of entering the world of online flights and real flights on real flight plans. Just break your fear today and go ahead and use a new flight, a uh, new SimBrief environment and do your first online or real flight procedure just like an airline pilot. Or just go ahead and take your Assessor. You don't need to have the Boeing 737. Just go ahead and select Assessor 172 create an IFR flight plan and go ahead and explore it on online environment. Uh, until the next time with the new videos about flight simulators, have safe flight and enjoy your flights and make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel if you don't want to miss the next videos. Have safe flights.